Use your bath water for dynamite? No, bat water, not... Batty water. Yeah. If you can make dynamite, you can make gunpowder and therefore guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I love guns. Okay, so this thing is gonna store canola. And this thing is gonna be so, so oil? Just canola oil? Do we put it over here? What uh, does this oil look like, guys? Where do I store my oil? Yo, liquid fluid! Thank you for the 27. Is trouble fluid? No, what does he say again? Is trouble brewing? Is water fluid? Um, I'm assuming oil, my massive brain just realized that oil in this video game, bear with me, might be a liquid. Now I'm not, I'm not, nah, maybe not, but it could be. I think I just grew an additional wrinkle in my gigantic wrinkly brain. I'm still struggling with storage though. Bro, I'm so fucking smart. There it is. Canola oil. I knew it. I'm s you see this brain? It's inside of my... It's it's inside of my skull. It's, it's in here. It just realized that. That liquid may not go into a solid storage. Came up with that all by myself. Thank you, guys. Yeah, sometimes my own brilliance astounds me. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Real. Relatable too, right? Um, okay, we go this way and then we go around and then we get the chill on the rooftop terrace Wait It's not high enough it's not a sentence a lot of Dutch people say, usually, but... We need to make it taller, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Dude, this is the most elaborate rooftop terrace I've built in my life. Is it necessary? No. Can I do it? Yeah. Can he build it? Do, 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 do. 
Bob en zijn maatjes hebben lol. Werken ze samen. Is niks het. I don't know the lyrics. But I guess most of you probably also don't know the Dutch lyrics. Your loss. Pete? No, Bob. Bob the Builder, dude. Not Pete the Builder. It's just a copy of Villa? Wait. I copy a villa with everything I do. <laughs> That's a name I have not seen dropped in the chat in a long time. There will be many StarCraft fans in 2024 that are unfamiliar with the name of villa. Yeah. This is a whole new generation, dude. A whole new generation of viewers. You know, right now, there are professional gamers in StarCraft 2. Dudes that I cast all the time. That have never seen a Mothership Core. Let that sink in for a little bit, guys. Like, there will be people watching this too that are like, Oh yeah, I don't know what that is. That's okay. But they do not know about the Mothership Core. I have heard pro gamers talk about this and they just don't know what the Mothership Core is. <laughs> Villo already got banned from Stormgate? What? He already got banned from Stormgate? How? They're out for him, man. I think he does YouTube stuff right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, he's still... Yeah, he's still streaming every day. He's streaming League now. That's wild. It's almost sad, dude. Yo! Woe we 60 years. I feel so old. Thank you very much for the 60 decade resub, new. Thank you very much, dude. Five years. Or a 60, sorry. Old. How has it been only six or five years? I feel like it's been much longer than that, no? Account? Oh my god. Nuke created his account? This is beautiful, man. These are great stats. Nuke created his Twitch account on the 22nd of July, 2016. He's been following this channel since the 23rd of July, 2016. That's amazing. Yeah, took him one day. Took him one day. One day where he was running around, probably very panicked. He was like, ah, ah, shada, ah. That's what he did. Scheiße, aha. Ah, ah. Those are the noises he made. And uh, then he found, yeah, then he found this. It's beautiful. He created it at, yeah, yeah, one minute to midnight. Absolutely. The verification email took a minute to arrive, so he couldn't immediately join, but... You don't even remember when you made your account? You made your account on the 27th of October, 2014. Pete is old, dude. You made your Twitch account about a decade ago. Oh, 
long time ago. <clears throat> you barely even... You were a YouTube Andy? Fair enough. You barely even used it? Oh my god! Miscaf made his account? On the 23rd of December 2008? What? That may be the lowest one I have ever seen. Two thousand and eight. How old is my account? I had another account before this. Account created. I had. I had another account. Two thousand and twelve. But it was still Justin TV back then. Two thousand and eight. Yeah, bro, there's people older than, or younger rather, than your Twitch account. Damn. You thought you had an old account? No, 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 no. You're a boomer, but not quite that old. You're 2012. Like, Miscaf? Predates you by four years. That's wild. Oh, damn, dude. Miscav's really old. Jeez. It was called Justin TV for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Who was Justin? A guy who made the website. It's like it's like like imagine your your username is Loco, right? And then you're like, well, I'm gonna make this platform, and you just smack TV at the end. That would be super embarrassing, dude. That's essentially what happened to Justin TV. Yeah. Crazy, right? A bit cringe, but. It's my brother. I have a brother? Hold up right now. Bad tidy. Bad titty. Approaching. Alright, I'll keep it in mind. This is what it says. I'm thinking about making another way to go upstairs. Like an elevator. Made with explosives. Uh, this map is called... Ooh, I forgot the name. Um, it's the one that has the meandering river. It's called Meander. <laughs> it's the meandering river. It's a good map. It's a good map. Me and her? No, no, no. Meandering. Okay. My beaver population is slowly going up again. I now even have food. Which I know is a crazy concept. I should probably change this one out to regular soybeans, so we can store some more of it. And then this one is going to be fermented soybeans. Dude, fermented soybeans sounds delicious. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Natto? Yeah, I guess. That's like the, 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 the slimy ones, right?
Oh, that's a different looking vet. Utilizes an advanced breeding procedure to process adult beavers eager to get to work. Oh, so we never get baby beavers anymore? We just get straight up adult beavers? Yo, we skipped childhood. This is like spawning at age 18. This is also very expensive actually, because you need the shiny planks and I don't have shiny planks. We can do a little bit of cloning. Oh shit, 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 shit. Up it, lower it. Uh, 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 paused, paused. Paused, paused. Everything's paused now. Okay, go home. Up it, up it. Jeez Louise, I got all concerned there for a moment. This is a five day one. Oh. I should have probably paid attention. Then again, though, paying attention takes effort. And, uh, yeah, I don't like that. Is this game from an Asian developer? <laughs> That's a very specific question. An Asian developer? They're Polish. They're Polish? Alright. What's up, Andy? Oh, because of the fermented soybean. Ah, okay, okay. That was pretty innocent. Andy's here, hide your husbands. Yeah, yeah. You're married now? Oh, okay. Never mind, you don't have to hide your husbands. And he's married now. Got another one? There's not a lot of places where you can have multiple husbands. We've had one husband, yes. What about second husband? Um. Can you do that with girlfriends? Uh, some. Yeah, bat tide is much easier to manage now. It's a fun additional challenge though. Plus it seems like they've worked on the late game in this game quite a bit. I'm thinking about doing a second district over here. But I don't really like managing districts. So I'd prefer not to if I if I don't have to, but I'm thinking about still extending the canal over here in this direction. That'd be kind of fun. I think that would be the most obvious way of doing it. Yeah, I really should extend uh, the floodgates over in this direction instead. I think that would be very handy too, so I have a lot more workable terrain. Basically as close to the bad water stuff as possible. Maybe one square over here. Something like that. Uh, 
it's a bit of a project, though. Maybe we can go from the other side. Huh, I didn't really think about that, but maybe we can go from this side instead. Um, that is quite the distance to travel, but I think they could probably make it. It's just that I'm gonna have to... We're gonna have to get dangerously close to the bad water if we want to do that. I think I should probably build like a... Like a set of platforms like this. This is all very expensive. Don't know if it's worth it. I mean, I think it's worth it, to be honest, but... It's just a lot of work. We'll make this a low priority project. We can't really do this until I get a lot more beavers. That does not work. We'll have to put some dynamite over here. Okay. There we go. Put another staircase over here. Put another dynamite up there. And then we are home. This is quite, quite the project. Why not dynamite straight rather than going off the side? You think I should go straight over here? I'm afraid it's gonna leak over on the other end. I'm gonna, I kinda like the idea of keeping some of the natural features, cause like, I tend to do the Dutch thing, where basically at some point everything is as flat as a pancake. And I, I'm, I'm, I've learned in playing a lot of these games over the years is that usually that's very boring and super lame. Like basically when I play these games, everything becomes Flevoland. You don't want things to become Flevoland, okay, let me tell you. It's all right, it's just, you know, a bit boring. Almere? We were talking about homes in the Netherlands earlier. If you do want to buy a cheaper home, Flevoland is the place to go, guys. But, then you live in Flevoland. Uh, I did not consider this. Ah, jeez. Sounds like a good deal. At least you live. That's true. Flavorland? No, no, no. Flavoland. This is a man-made province. In the Netherlands. So basically, it literally did not exist when my grandparents were young. And they decided, you know what? We're gonna make an entire province. Now, imagine a bunch of engineers designing their perfect province. This is what it looks like. This is essentially the entire province. Um, it's pretty big. Yeah, it's basically a giant ranked rectangle. <laughs> you, you would love this. You would love this, Big Dodo. Yeah, it is. It is one of the most boring designs for anything, really. Very natural looking, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it is the size of nearly two and a half thousand square kilometers. So it's pretty big. Like it's not like some like that's basically if the, like that red part didn't exist. Like it just wasn't there. They're like, yeah, let's make a fucking province, dude. Like the thought of that is kind of crazy to me too. If I think about current day Dutch politics, it seems like it's very hard to achieve anything. Then they were like, yo, let's make a fucking province. <laughs> That's crazy. It's not like the country was full at the time either. Yeah, yeah, we're basically beavers. Yeah, Dutch people are basically beavers. Yeah.
I wonder how much Flavolund cost. Like, can we look this up? How much did Flavolund cost? There's about a half million people-ish living there. I don't know how we can figure this out. Hey, Biomove! Thank you very much for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. We should save the people that live in Flavorland. I agree, dude. Thank you, buddy. No, I would move to Flavorland, but Loran doesn't want to. Maybe it's for the best. Do they actually have good food? In Flavorland? No, Flavoland. Flavoland, chat, not Flavorland. No, it's very cheap. Like, Flavorland is not that far away from where I live. And it's, since not a lot of people want to live there, it is significantly cheaper. They say that once you go to Flavoland, though, you never, you can never leave. It's kind of like the Dutch version of Hotel California, you know? Very risky. <laughs> it's centralized hell. Is it really? Like, imagine you could get twice as much for your money as far as housing goes, if you move 20 minutes away. That's essentially the situation, guys. But you have to live in Flavorland, you know? Is that really something you want to do? <laughs> That's because once you buy a home, you can't sell it anymore? Man. Do they have internet and running water? Yeah, 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 I'm sure they do. It's funny. No, I don't really want to go to Flavorland. Although I'm sure it's fine. Yo, I just need a lot more beavers. Yeah, I have 22 vacancies right now. I also have 22 free beds. Coincidence? We gotta put the beavers to work. You haven't described what's so bad about it? I don't really know what's bad about it, to be honest. I just know a lot of people say that Fl Flavorland is not a great place to live, but I, I've never, like, you know... I've never really, I've never really seen any, like, I've never really met anybody living there, you know? Okay, no, I have, but... I'm not exactly sure what the problem is with Flavorland. It's just boring. No, I don't know. I don't think it's a lot of crime. Maybe. Is it haunted by ghosts? Maybe, dude. That would explain a lot. Ba -ba -ba. All right. A beaver bust. Mmm. Love that. I think I may replace my bush with a beaver bust. No more shrubs. We are now a beaver bus main. Got 
Everybody walks past the beaver bust when they're on their way to work in the morning. Which is excellent. We also have the beaver statue, which I also kind of like the sound of. Again, everybody passes this in the morning when they go to work. Sounds like an excellent plan. A bell? I mean, there's a lot of buffs they get from all of these things. I don't think the, the bell really does a whole lot. A decorative clock? I do like clocks. I think the bell and the clock kind of go together, though. A brazier? This gives aesthetics brazier. Alright. So what about this one? That one gives aesthetics lantern. Alright. Anything that gives AoE buffs close to where my dudes go to sleep is excellent for me. There's a bunch of these big boy monuments. Yeah. Laborer's Monument? This is a massive one, though. The problem with this monument is that it's a 2x2. Two two, which is the worst size. Everybody knows that. I think I may move my medical bits, and then we'll put it over here on the edge. Um, I can do one less medical bit. But that does mean that I can go ahead and put up my statue, which I think is an excellent plan. Thanks to at Rex to 92 for my sub gift. Hey, thank you very much, Rage. Appreciate it. Almeida Port is particularly ugly. It's just a bunch of random architecture slapped all over each other. It looks like nothing fits together. So this this is what you linked as an example as to why nobody wants to live in Flavoland. Like, this is not the prettiest area, but... <laughs> <laughs> like, I have the definitive proof. It's this neighborhood with big houses. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mr. Purple, for the 32 months. Appreciate it. You're close to Urk? That's true. The Elden Ring DLC is 40 euro. Hmm. When's that coming out? June? Okay. That's gonna be fun, man. I'm really looking forward to that. Can tourists go to Flavoland and visit? Absolutely. I don't know what you want to, but uh, you can. Yeah, I will be playing. Um, I will be playing the DLC for sure when it comes out. But I think I'm gonna continue my old playthrough, and we'll do like maybe a few days or so of me streaming the game again before it ultimately releases. It is time for us to do the big explosion. Oh, a drought is approaching. All right. There we go. So now I should be able to control everything a little bit better. So I don't really want stuff to flow that direction, so I can just move it up. But then when a bad water thing comes, I can lower it and then... Dude, we can control water. Like, I am basically able to control everything. I love being a beaver. No, I don't think I want to go New Game Plus for a new DLC. The uh, lovely folks at From Software are pretty well known 
for making difficult DLCs. I was thinking about replaying the game, but the thing is that it's a very long game to replay. Can I go one higher? Or is this still going up? I think I might be able to go... Never mind. No, this is fine. Yeah, I would not mind doing a new playthrough, but the thing is, it's a long-ass game, dude. It is not something you just, you know... It's easy to spend 100 hours in uh, Elden Ring. I think the first time around was like 80 hours. You've had a save file ready and set up for the DLC? Dude, I don't even think I've used my PlayStation since playing that game. <laughs> I don't even know if it still works. Shall we check if it still works? All right, the light is on. The light is on. That's a good sign. Um. Oh. All right. Make sure you turn it on for early updates. Dude, there's probably about 17 updates I need to get. All right, that was actually very painless. Can I even switch it over to my main monitor over here? That would be amazing. No signal. HDMI, no signal. Okay, that's not great. Um... So you guys can see the screen, but I can't. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'll have to sort that out. Turn into rest mode. Alright. <sighs> That's a new definition of a blind playthrough, yeah. What's going on, Ellie? I've seen nearly, if not every video of StarCraft you've made and genuinely think you're the best observer. Yo, thank you so much. Thank you, Ellie. I appreciate that. Watch pretty much every single one of my videos. That's a lot of videos. I've uploaded at least a couple. Are they paid? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Nobody would genuinely come on over to my stream and just compliment me, right? That has, has to be fake. I'll PayPal you later. <laughs> paid actors, paid actors. Even the really old ones? Those are very cringe. I don't recommend watching those. You've started watching 10 plus years ago? Damn! That is a long time. The drought is here. Dude, I even have a second basin of water now. Like, I don't want to flex or anything, but I hope you're impressed. This is a nine day drought. Oh shit, that's actually very long. Okay. I think I'm well set up for it though. I can't even count to nine, dude. Let alone, uh... Does he know you can drag a selection and destroy buildings? No. No, I do not know that. I think I can probably do five breeding pods. I think I'm maybe a five breeding pod kind of guy. 
Maybe I should do four, actually, to be safe. Okay, we set another staircase up over here. You know what I should do? I should save and actually grab something to eat real quick. Because I have been sitting down for like four hours, five, no, five hours at this point. Yay, 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 yay. I'll give you guys Lenny though in the meantime. Enjoy. <clears throat> yeah, the finals of, of V is the Mall is Vanavond, or I mean tonight. Mixing in Dutch and English at the same time is a bit tricky. I just need to check whether or not I put my points in. Um, I have. I have. So I'm currently in a, uh, a group of people. My entire family, basically. Where I am currently in second place. My little nephew, who's like eight or whatever. Maybe he's ten. I don't know how old he is. Uh, he is currently a first place price. And every week I'm getting a text message of him saying, hey, I'm still in first. But I think today is the day. If my suspicions are correct, I think I overtake him today. The nephew that's a better driver than you? That guy, yes. The one that played Euro Truck Simulator on stream. Is this fantasy sports? No, it's a television show about who is the mole. Which I think there may be like similar things in other countries too. But basically it's a, it's a game where for, I don't know, I think it's like 10 episodes or whatever. Every week somebody drops out and they have to like play a bunch of games in the meantime, right? So there's all kinds of games. And basically long story short, there's one person in the group that is trying to purposely ruin every game without the rest noticing. That's basically the game. It's not, it's, I don't know. It used to be a lot of fun when I was younger. I don't really find it that much, that much fun anymore these days, but they have like an app where you can play against other people. It's like a big game of Among Us. Yeah, but this has been running since like... I don't know, the 90s, I think. It's been running for ages. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's pretty fun. You can start dynamite? Wait, you can dynamite to start the bad water floodgates? Oh yeah! I forgot about this part. I set this up a while ago, didn't I? Alright. short now he sees it mm. uh, the bad water flows that way so we should have I'm gonna remove this wall over here at some point that's the plan uh, they have updated the game a lot since I have lost played but I don't know how long it's been since you tried out the game. Dude, these droughts are lasting quite a long time now, but I feel like we're super comfortable. Kind of awesome. I may have beaten the game. Okay, maybe not. Oh, I have 1.3k food? Sick. Yeah, people are happy, dude. Not that long ago, everybody was dying, but no longer the case.
Um, I'm trying to build my um, my homes in such a way that it kind of looks fun. That's my entire thought process. I don't have enough builders at the moment, though. Oh, right, that's true, Lazarus. Yeah, I forgot about that, sorry. What are you saying, Rumble? If I didn't know any better, that sounded very disrespectful. Ooh, your Raspberry Pi arrived? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna use it for? You gonna eat it? No, 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 it's not that type of pie. Home assistant with automation? Ooh. I feel like the full home automation is kind of amazing. But it's also a rabbit hole that's very deep. I hear you're way down the rabbit hole then, huh? <laughs> I mean, you could have your windows, like your your window blinds set up to, you know, open uh, open automatically, the temperature in your home. Like, you can do... you can do a lot. What's the worst that could happen? Not really that much. You built a bunch of things using Arduino on the ESP32. Yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, I have no idea what you just said. You love your home automation, but when it's 1am and your light won't turn off? <laughs> Wait, you've automated your home, but sometimes the lights bug out and you can't turn off your lights at 1 in the morning? Yeah, that is uh, that's a bit of a strange problem to have. One AM is a great time to be debugging code. My lights turn off after a power cut, and you have to turn them all off again. Oh no, dude. Didn't you get a battery? I thought you said you got a battery installed some time ago. If not, that's clearly the solution. <laughs> you just need to have a battery, dude. Um, I need to do some more dynamiting. I would like to do that dynamite, but this requires a resource that I don't have. Uh, I don't know how to get it. There, I, I came across it some time ago. Um, this is coffee? Hydroponic garden? Cultivates plants not suitable for open air farming. I mean, this is definitely something I want to go out and do. But, grease factory? Charging station? Nope. The centrifuge and the water thing? Is that what I'm looking for? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is four bad water plus 0.1 log creates sciency things. Alright. I like the idea of sciency things. The only problem is that I'm starting to run out of uh, space in this area. What is the maximum pool of electricity here? When every structure is building. So this is a maximum output of what? I have no idea. 75, 195, 245. 445, uh, 545, 595, 
595 plus 50 is 645. So this is about 700-ish. How much output does this thing have? Oh, oh, it was 695. It literally says it over here on the screen. I didn't need to math that. Anyways, um, we'll do a we'll, we'll do we'll do one of these things in addition, I guess. Is that possible? One of these um, engines. Yeah. I think this is the spot right over here. Whoa, dude, everybody's so fucking happy right now. All right. This is a generation that forgot about what happened to the previous beavers. They have no clue, dude. They have no idea. They're all so happy. They think I'm the good guy. I mean, I am. Naturally, of course I am. What are you trying to say right now? <laughs> 